CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful crochet eye cord sunburst rug. And I call it a sunburst rug because I'm using these stitches here to hold my rug together, and it just makes a beautiful sunburst pattern. Okay, now it is reversible, you can flip it over at the other side as well, and you could use that side if you didn't like this side. But basically, what you're doing is, is you're making an eye cord, and then this eye cord is going round and round just like this in a circle and then you're sewing it together okay so it's really easy it's beginner friendly and it's just such an easy rug to make now I am using the Bernay blanket yarn and purple plum and that yarn is usually pretty expensive guys but I found it at Ollie's in my area if you have one um, for $3.99 now this yarn is normally I think around $10 this Bernay blanket yarn is super soft, luxurious um, kind of uh, yarn. So it is normally kind of expensive, but like I said, I found it on sale. And before I hopped on here to do this video, I looked to see if I could find it on sale anywhere else. And right now they have it at Michael's for $4.27, I think it was, I saw it for, $4.27 on sale. And it's normally $9.99 at Michael's. So that might be something easier for you. Um, Ollie's is not something you can get online and buy yarn. It's something you have to go into. So I know a lot of my viewers may not have an Ollie's or they may not have this yarn anymore at their Ollie's, but everyone's got a Michael's and usually. And if you don't have a Michael's, you can go online to Michael's um, and find this yarn. So yeah, and if you don't wanna use this yarn, you can use any yarn you want want to. Um, you could use scrap yarn. You could double up your yarn. You do want a thicker yarn because this is going to be making a rug. So doubling up your yarn, if you use regular yarn, um, would be beneficial. But yeah, what I'm about to teach you can be used for anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be used to make rugs. Um, it could be used to make baskets, bags, anything you can think of. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to tell you the materials you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need that Bernay blanket yarn or any yarn that you want. And if you want to do the sunburst pattern, you're going to want to use a corresponding color that you like. Now, what I used for this color here is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn City Beat, okay? And this is how much I have left of it. I need some more because I'm going to be making this rug much bigger than what it is here, okay? Um, because I want to put it in my... Um, in my living room and I have a lot of maroon colors, uh, dark red colors in my living room, so it's gonna look great in there. So this is gonna be quite a bit bigger um, and I was able to get a lot of that yarn because it was discounted. But I do need some more of this yarn to continue doing my uh, sunburst uh, stitches through here, okay? So what I'm gonna teach you is how to do the eye cord and then I'm gonna show you how um, to actually put it together. Now, if you don't like this kind of look um, with all the different colors and everything, you could just use the Bernay yarn itself and keep it all one color and sew it in that way, okay? And then you wouldn't even notice, uh, you know, the stitches necessarily, okay? So that's what we're using. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need a darning needle to hold it together. And the size hook I'm using for this, because it is the Bernay blanket and it is a chunky yarn, is I'm using a size 10 millimeter hook. Now, I suggest if you're making a rug with this eye cord that I'm gonna show you how to make, um, that you would use a big hook and uh, a couple strands of yarn. Um, but if you wanted to do something smaller, like a bag out of this or something different, or you needed it for a basket and you wanted a smaller basket, you could use a smaller yarn, I mean a smaller hook for smaller yarn, okay? So let's, what we're going to get started with first is we're going to take out our Bernay yarn, uh, uh, blanket yarn, and we're going to learn how to make the actual eye cord. Now, this yarn is hard to see on camera. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it with this thick yarn. And then I'm going to show you how to do it with some smaller yarn so that you can maybe see a little bit better. But I did want to show you what it looks like to be worked up with a Bernay. And I've got a light on. So maybe if it works out good enough, we won't have to pull out that other yarn. So let's just see. Okay, let's move this to the side. And now what you're going to do is you're going to do a slip knot. And you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And this is what I was talking about. It's just hard to see the stitches. Do you see that? Because it, it is that Bernay blanket yarn. It's hard to see, okay? But anyway, moving on. What you're going to do is you're going to draw up loops in these next uh, spaces here. So I'm going to go right into this next uh, chain right here, the second chain from the hook. And I'm going to pull up a loop. 
but I'm not gonna go through anything. Then I'm gonna go in through my next chain and I'm gonna pull up a loop. So I've got three loops on my hook, okay? So this is what it looks like. I'm going to take these two loops out, just like that. I'm gonna take this yarn around, this our working yarn, and holding these two pieces with my finger so they stay in place, I'm gonna yarn over and pull through this first loop, okay? Then I'm gonna go right back into these and pull up a loop again. Right into that loop and into this loop and pull up a loop, okay? Now technically I think this is called chaining when you do this, similar to knitting, but I didn't wanna use that uh, terminology because it can get really confusing because this is crochet. Okay, so again, we've got three loops. I pull off these two. I yarn over like this, hold these two with my finger so they don't come undone, go in through that loop all the way, and then pull loops through for these. Just like that. So again, I'm gonna pull these two off, pull this around, yarn over, go through this first loop, and then go through the next one, pull up a loop, go through the next one, pull up a loop. So I've always got three loops on my hook. So now we are creating the chain. This is what it looks like in the back, or I mean, we're creating the I cord. This is what it looks like in the front, okay? So again, I'm gonna pull these two off, yarn over, hold these with my finger, pull through, and then go through this loop, and then go through this loop. So I'm just gonna do that again. Um, oh. Now, if that happens, that can be kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie, when you're working with this um, project, if it comes undone, it can be kind of hard to get back in, but you just kind of have to look at where your yarn is. So I know my yarn's over here, so I know I still need to go through this one, okay? Because my yarn's on this side. If it was over here, then I know I would need to start going through loops. So just try to stay pay attention if it comes undone, okay? So again, I'm just gonna go kind of slowly now and show you, I'm gonna yarn over, go through this loop, pull up, pull up. And as you see, we're creating the chain there. Now this will take a little bit of practice, takes a little getting used to. Uh, holding your yarn with your fingers is odd, pulling them off your hook is odd. So just keep all that in mind. And when you go to wrap that around, don't pull hard because you don't wanna lose these loops here. This is just such a fun and easy project to do. Once you get it going, it's mindless basically. You can watch TV and just make this huge long I cord and then you just start wrapping it um, for a rug. So it would just start wrapping like this, just like that. 
So I'm just going to do this a couple more times, kind of quietly, and um, then I'll let you go off on your own, and I'm going to do a longer piece of this so I can show you how to work it together to make the rug. And I'm also going to bring in that smaller yarn so that I can show you in case you're having a hard time seeing how to do this with this bulky yarn. Okay, so let's just pause the video. I'm gonna work some more on this and then I'm gonna bring you back with the smaller yarn in case you couldn't see well. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna use this smaller yarn and show you how to do the eye cord in, lace, in case you wanna make a smaller eye cord. And please forgive my nails. <laughs> I haven't been brave enough to go in and get them done yet. So I've just been kind of doing them on my own, but it's the same thing that we did before. You're gonna make a slip knot. You're going to chain three. Just like that then you're going to go into the second chain from the hook so not this one not that one but this one you're going to pull up a loop then you're going to go into your next and pull up a loop and now you've got three loops on your hook and you're going to take these two off you're going to wrap this around loosely, not pulling tight. Go through that first one and then go through the second one and pull up a loop and go in through this one and pull up a loop just like that. Okay, and again, take off those, wrap around, hold these two with your finger, go through here and then go through this one, and then go through this one. Okay, just like that. So it's the same concept as with the bigger yarn, but honestly, I think it's easier with the bigger yarn. It's much more fiddlier and harder to hold these loops on so that they don't come undone. But I'm gonna show you one more time with a small yarn. So I'm gonna take those two loops off. I'm gonna take this, yarn over, hold these two loops on my with my fingers, go through, and then pull up a loop in these two. One and two, just like that. And you see it starts creating a chain. And this is what it looks like in the back. And you can do that much tighter. I'm just kind of doing it loose for the video so that you can see everything. So one more time, take those off, yarn over, put your fingers to hold these two loops so they don't come undone, which is really important with this yarn. Then go in through your next loop, pull up, your next loop, pull up, just like that. And you just keep going till you got the desired length that you wanted, okay? So let's go ahead and move on over to how to put this rug together. So I did a little bit of a longer eye cord with this Bernay thick chunky yarn. And I wanted to show you how to get it together to make that sunburst look. Now, obviously this isn't very long. And what I like to do is, now you could do an eye cord for as long as you wanted to do it to make the rug as big as you want. What I like to do though, is I keep my hook on and still attached to my yarn, still going strong. And then I just start wrapping it on the other end together. So I'm just gonna start, first of all, I would work this in normally, but I'm not gonna do it because of the video. But you would just start working it in a circle, just like this, like you're making a pinwheel, making sure that this is on the outside and this is on the inside. You can tell a difference, okay? So this is the front of the cord and this is the back of the cord. And so I just keep working it around just like this till I get close to where my hook is. 
okay? And this gives you an idea of how big your rug is coming along. And so then I'll stop for a little bit, sew a little bit, and then once I get this all sewn together, then I'll keep crocheting and make more and just keep going round and round in a circle. But okay, so for right now, we've got this wrapped as far as we can. I'm almost down to the hook. So now I'm gonna show you how to um, get that sunburst effect look using your darning needle or your crochet needle. I don't know which, which one you call it. So we take our darning needle and we take the yarn, the, the yarn that you want to use. I'm using that um, City Beat yarn. I'm going to pull through just like this. And then I'm going to go all the way down. So essentially, I'm doubling my yarn, okay? So I'm going to go all the way down to the other end over here. So it's not just one strand, it's two, okay? And then once I cut that off, I'm going to make a slip knot just like this, okay? I'm gonna pull it down because I'm gonna go through this to knot it once I go through, okay? So then I take this, so this is what it looks like, and I take this and I start working through the very top going towards the center. So I'm gonna go in like this, all the way through to the center, because the key is, is I want my rug to stay together. So I'm gonna go all the way over here and I'm gonna pull just like that. And then I'm going to make sure that my yarn's pulled through just like that. And then I'm gonna take this end and I'm gonna go through that um, slip knot that we made So I'm going to go through the slip knot and that's going to hold it in place right there. Okay. And so that's what started that. Now you will have a little knot here, but you can rotate that up to the top and it will be covered once you come back around with your other piece. Okay. And so then what I would do is I would just start working. I would go in again over here, going through to the middle just like this. And then when you first start, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look all that great. Like the, the stitching is like, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work out, but the more you go, I think it looks really pretty. So, And so you're just gonna keep going around, pulling all these in together. Just like this. And then after you do this first one, holding all this in together, then it gets a little bit easier because right here, you're wanting to get your middle part to hold in together, okay? And you don't wanna to pull too tight because if you pull too tight, your, your rug will get distorted, okay? And so now I'm just gonna go through just like that Okay, and then I would cut off and I would knot it just like this. Let me show you. And I really didn't leave enough, but normally I would have left more. So just keep that in mind. I'm usually not for knotting, but I think for the rug, I think it works well. So I'm just going to knot it a couple of times. And then I'm going to go down as far as I can so that it goes into the inside of the rug without cutting the rug. And I'm going to cut that. Okay, so you can't see the knot. And then I would just put on some more yarn and I would just keep going round and round just like that. And this yarn changes colors and I think that's great for the sunburst effect. Even if you can't find the City Beat yarn at Hobby Lobby, if you want to try to find something else um, that has some color changes in it, it just looks so cool when you do that. Now, you've got these two pieces right here that we where we worked in um, our yarn. And what you can do is you can just, uh, what I do is I knot it off. Uh, there's already a slip knot there, but I knot off two more times, just like that. 
and then as I come around, it's going to hide that knot, okay? So I would come around like this and make sure it's over there. And then see, it just covers the knot and then you would just go through and I need to pull that a little bit tighter. So that's gone there. But you see, you just keep going round and round and you keep doing these stitches and it just turns out beautiful. Um, so yeah, if you make this, please let me know. I've got a thing going on Facebook that anyone who shares any pictures with me all the way to July gets put on my Instagram, on my Facebook page. So please share, um, your completed work with me. I really appreciate that. And I love seeing your pictures. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps so much. Um, we are well over 10,000 subscribers now. I am just so excited about that. And thank you so much for your support. Um, yeah, so just let me know how this goes and if you enjoy it. And I will see you again soon in the next video. Happy crocheting, guys. Bye-bye.